What's up basketball fans? Today, we're diving into one of the most talked about stories in NBA lore. The time a young LeBron James faced off against the legendary Michael Jordan in an infamous scrimmage game. You've probably heard bits and pieces of this tale before, but trust me, we're about to break it all the way down with all the juicy details. Get ready for an inside look at this clash of the titans that every hoops head dreams of witnessing. But before we continue, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon so you do not miss out on any amazing and entertaining content. Let's set the scene here. We're in the early 2000s and LeBron James is just a 16-year-old kid from Akron, Ohio. But he's no ordinary teenager. Oh no, LeBron was already being hyped as the next transcendent talent in basketball, a can't-miss prospect destined for greatness. You could see it in his jaw-dropping highlights from St. Vincent, St. Mary High School. The powerful drives to the hoop, the flashy no-look passes, the effortless ability to take over any game he played in. LeBron was a human cheat code even back then, dominating the competition at a level nobody had really seen before from a high school player. But on the other side of this unlikely matchup was none other than Michael Jordan, the GOAT himself and LeBron's childhood idol that he had idolized and emulated his game after from day one. At this point in his early 2000s, MJ was nearing the very end of his iconic NBA career and after his second comeback with the Washington Wizards. But don't let that fool you. Even pushing 40 years old, Jordan was still an absolute monster on the court. The competitive fire, the fundamentally sound game, the cold-blooded clutch gene, it was all still there, pretty much as strong as ever. Jordan in his late 30s was a handful for anyone, let alone a teenage LeBron who was just starting to scratch the surface of his potential. So, can you even imagine being in LeBron's shoes at that age? You spend your whole childhood watching MJ's legendary playoff runs and brilliant commercials, trying to mirror his every move out on the neighborhood courts of Akron. Then, out of nowhere, you suddenly get the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to not just meet your hero, but actually go one-on-one -on -one against him on the basketball court. What do you even say to someone like that, who you've revered and studied from afar for so long? I don't think there are words for how surreal that experience must have felt for the young LeBron James. According to LeBron's own recounting of this epic pickup game, he actually had to wait patiently on the sidelines for about an hour before the vets let the high school prodigy finally sub into the action. I can just picture a teenage LeBron pacing around, stretching, maybe shooting some casual jumpers to stay warm, all while drinking in every second of the run and envisioning what it would be like to finally check in against the legendary Michael Jordan and the other NBA ballers. When he did eventually get the green light to sub in, you know LeBron had to be feeling just about every single emotion possible as a billion thoughts raced through his head. LeBron himself said Jordan looked like black Jesus to him because the dude was just the otherworldly and larger than life on the court, even late in his career. Unfortunately, we don't have some epic blow-by-blow -blow breakdown of exactly how the old Michael Jordan matched up against the young LeBron James when they finally went head-to-head -head in this skirmish. From the details we do know, Jordan's squad ended up winning on a vintage, cold-blooded, game-winning bucket from the GOAT himself. And because MJ just has that level of arrogant confidence and swagger that we all know and love, we couldn't resist hitting everyone with his iconic $33 million flex after draining the clutch shot to seal the win. Just a classic Michael Jordan putting the final dagger in a young LeBron and reminding everyone exactly who the man is. But it gets even more legendary. LeBron shared that the full run included stars like Paul Pierce, Ron Artest, Penny Hardaway, Jamal Crawford, and others. Just a casual pickup game with multiple future Hall of Famers. You know, no big deal. Even though Jordan's team took the W, you just know LeBron had to have walked away from that experience like I belonged out there. For a kid with his boundless confidence and unreal talent, holding his own against that level of competition surely gave him an extra boost. We can't say for sure how much of an impact it really had, but I think it's safe to assume getting that early taste of competing with and against the best of the best only added fuel to LeBron's burning desire to reach the summit of the NBA. Just when you thought the LeBron and MJ dynamic couldn't get any more legendary, here's when the story takes an even more unbelievable turn. A couple years after that famed scrimmage where a teenage LeBron got his first taste of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with his idol, the two basketball giants would reunite yet again, but this time as teammates instead of opponents. It was the summer of 2003, just a few months after LeBron had taken the NBA by storm as the can't-miss number one overall pick joining the Cleveland Cavaliers. 
Despite all his immense hype and accomplishments, the 18-year-old rookie was still invited to attend Michael Jordan's prestigious summer camp out in Santa Barbara. Not only did LeBron get to learn from and soak up wisdom from the GOAT up close, but he also achieved the dream of virtually every young hooper on the planet, the chance to be MJ's running mate and teammate on the basketball court. You see, during the camp, Jordan would organize after-hours pickup runs with the campers, all the collegiate athletes in attendance, and any pro players he invited as well. According to LeBron's recollection, he and Jordan ended up getting paired up on the same squad. And let me tell you, that duo was downright unstoppable from the jump. LeBron's quote paints the picture perfectly. I was on a team with MJ and we didn't lose a game. A fresh-faced 18-year-old LeBron, mere months after prom and senior year, was out there sharing the court and playing on the same team as his literal idol Michael Jordan, the most transcendent and iconic basketball player ever. For LeBron, it must have felt like an out-of-body experience, raining down buckets and making ridiculous plays while having the GOAT by his side to feed off of and learn from in real time. For Jordan, it was likely a glimpse into the future of the league he once dominated and a chance to impart his wisdom onto the new face of the NBA. While getting that camp run together was undoubtedly an all-time experience both LeBron and MJ will never forget, it also stirs up thoughts of what could have been had their primes overlapped even briefly in the NBA. I mean, just imagine those two forces of nature sharing the same side of the floor for an entire professional season or playoff run. With MJ's cold-blooded scoring repertoire and clutch gene paired alongside LeBron's powerful drives, elite playmaking skills, and lockdown defense, how could any opponent even begin to game plan for that nightmare matchup? The skill sets just complemented each other so perfectly. You'd need one elite perimeter defender to try and slow down Jordan's effortless mid-range patented and crafty old man game. Then you'd have to have another stopper strong enough to meet LeBron's size and strength at the point of attack. But even if you somehow manage to wrangle those two wild horses individually, trying to account for the off-ball cutting, transition gameplay, and collective elite basketball IQ of Jordan and James would be a losing effort. It would have been a genuine pick-your-poison scenario on every single possession. So while getting those brief glimpses of LeBron being mentored and playing pickup games with Michael is fascinating, it also leaves you craving and wondering what could have been if they had ever gotten the chance on the brightest stage for real. An all-time what-if that would have surely rewritten record books. For all the endless, greatest-of-all-time debates, these two transcendent figures would be eternally linked. Their respective talents and accomplishments tower over the rest of the basketball world in a way we may never see again. While we'll never get to see that dream pairing's full potential realized, at least we can appreciate the bond and on-court chemistry they shared from the jump. You've got to respect how LeBron idolized and emulated MJ's game from a young age before following in his footsteps. And for Jordan's part, seems he was always eager to impart his wisdom onto the young phenom he viewed as the torchbearer. Let me know what you think of this tale down in the comments below. Did you have any idea about these early shared experiences between LeBron and MJ before today? Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you never miss out whenever I drop a new basketball video breaking down the biggest stories, debates, and rumors around the NBA.